Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. Enjoy the video. Morning all. Sunday, August the 4th. Um, it's, it's been a strange old week. Um, because it, it's, it, the house is quiet. Um, really quiet without Una. Um, it's been really bizarre. And we've struggled. The wife won't admit it, but I certainly will. Really struggled. Uh, but uh, life goes on. Um, we, um, uh, the, her new family sends us photographs. Um, uh, a couple of videos on the first day uh, of Una exploring her new garden, uh, which was which was good, and uh, various other photographs of. Her being a tart, you know, on her back, oh, rub my belly, please, which is really good. So, I th and and they sent us a picture yesterday of um of her being walked in Laval Market. Uh, so I th I th um I think they're getting on okay, uh, but I mean. We'll find out soon, sooner or later. Um, but w which is really good. So I mean, it's been a strange week. Uh, um, Work-wise, not a lot has been done um, because both of us have been in, a, in an emotional state, I suppose. But uh, today is Sunday, so I can't do any noisy work outside. What noisy work I've just done is it. So I'm going to um, cut some produce um, from our our veggie patch and uh, take it from there. Um, otherwise, there's not a great deal. I'm, I'm sorting out this workshop bit by bit because it is a mess, an absolute mess how i managed to work in this this state i really don't know but i mean it's got on top of me um yeah it's a mess snakes i could hear snakes yeah anyway so i'm going to crack on uh let's see what we've got uh, in the veggie patch right Veggie patch update. Parsnips. I read up on these yesterday. And you can keep them in the ground for out. Oh, there, there's a monster there. Look at that. You can keep them in the ground for whenever you want to harvest them. Carrots. So that's parsnip again. Carrots, they're coming on. This now is radish. They're starting to, I need to get rid of all that. You see, this is weed. I hate the stuff. This is an old radish. They're starting to flower now. Yeah, they start to flower. So these need to come out. Um, the, the wife's garden, yeah, that's gonna be pulled. Onions, they've been harvested. The broccoli, <laughs> the broccoli, yeah. I don't know what's happening there. But this stuff, weed. And it's got itself mixed in with the broccoli. It's horrible stuff. So we need to keep on top of that. This needs weeding big style. The storm the other day decimated this one. Um. So we've got two butternuts. Whether they're going to survive or not, who knows? I don't think they will, personally. But we're not going to touch them. I'm going to leave them there in play. I hope they survive. The courgettes. Oh, we've got some more sprouting there. Uh, 
this one's for harvest now that is as well that one's been eaten so I can cut that one off but we've had quite a few courgettes so let's just cut that now Oh, can't do it one-handed. Got it. This one too. Got two of them. That's being eaten, so that can go in there. So we've got a big one and a small one. Uh, looking good I suppose for our first time growing this type of stuff I'm happy with that we've got apples coming up everywhere as well I tasted one of these the other day to establish whether it was a cooker. Ah, yeah, it was this one here. Uh, I didn't think it was, but the missus had a bite and she said it was, because it made her eyes go all funny. But the apples are starting to come on. So, with the wind and everything, I've got to do a, a run around the orchard to uh, pick up the fallen ones uh, because we don't want uh, wasps and stuff having a go at everything and yeah. See. I weeded this yesterday. The previous owners, in their wisdom, have put this matting there over the tree and all these logs. And I, I tell you what, there's no need for it, in my opinion. All it needs is to be sorted like the, we've done the rest of them. But there's bits of metal in here, there's glass and so it's like a hiding place for horrible shit. But uh, that's the previous owners. It's not us. We're discovering stuff as we go along. Um, such as we've got a, a pine tree here, which we're trying to save. Because uh, it, it's been ravaged by ivy. So we've removed the ivy and okay it's surviving and we we weeded yesterday around the place but under around here again there was I found an old battery from a from a drill um, this uh, plastic sheeting which had been disintegrated and it was everywhere uh, similar to this similar to this but not this is rubber so it's it's still intact it's not degrading but yeah it's like and they've had a fire here somewhere you can't burn batteries aerosol cans it's another thing just okay they were an elderly couple but you would have thought 
with that age comes knowledge. But obviously some people lose their knowledge when they get older or get, get stupid. Oh, I don't know. I'm stupid sometimes. So my wife would say I'm stupid a lot of the time. But uh, as in jokey stupid. Uh, I'll, be, I'll tell you one thing of getting old uh, is you get soft, emotional, emotionally, emotionally soft, and that I think that's true. You do get uh, soft on the emotions as you get older. Oh, she's she's cleaning. That's it. The mourning period has gone. My wife is cleaning. I, d I don't think you could see her cleaning the windows or the, the, the patio doors. I don't think you could see her from there. So that's it. That's the removal of Una's marks on the, on the windows, stroke doors, patio doors. And she's going to vacuum and I believe she's going to vacuum all the hairs up and get rid of anything to do with Una. Um, so she's moved on now. That's it. And we, I have to move on, but I'm just a sad old git. Anyway, this is just a Sunday. Sunday catch up on how how we're dealing with um with Una, all the way, the, uh, the moving on of Una, yeah, post Una, anyway, um, I'm rambling, so I'm going to crack on with the stuff I have to do, I'm not going to film anymore today, um, I've got a busy week ahead, now I'm uh, full time in our Durupa, so to speak, and uh, I'll catch you all soon, take care.